<clears throat> Alright there ladies and gents of the World Wide Web, this is Scott Duffy coming to you from his living room in Clyde Bank with his flatmate Matthias next door probably pulling his wire. I love rug. But I'm not saying I love like your rug as in the rug your missus doesn't shave. Or I love axe as in axe wound. What I'm actually saying is I love axe minster and I really do love rugs. Rugs? Carpets and floor coverings. That's my business. That's my game. I've been doing it since I was 16. Left school at 16. Went into carpet manufacture. Learned everything I could. Made mega bucks. Made great wages. Talking about shags, I'm single. It's not because I can't get a bird. It's because I don't want a bird. It's a lifestyle choice. However, it's got to be said. Struggled for a wee bit there than it. And it's got to be said that my geeky flatmate Matthias, the geekier he gets, the mere fanny he seems to find himself getting in touch with, is you know, possibly the most talented um, female catcher this side of the, the boulevard. See, he's burning out, burning out. Fucking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Total slag, though. <laughs> Total slag. And he doesn't know it. She's got a wee. It's not his. <laughs> it's not mine either. fucking chance of that. Anyway, the reason for this blog, the reason I'm badgering your ear here, is I am going to enlighten the entire World Wide Web about the world of carpet. Now, I could be dead born and say, carpet has been around for 6,000 years. Hieroglyphs have shown this. The oldest known carpet is a 434 BC dated carpet found in an ice tomb in Mongolia. Many different innovations since the 1960s have meant that there are now 70 different manufacturing methods for mass producing carpets. Um, as early as, as late as 1995, carpets um, have been innovated with. I don't, know. I don't know how to make that interesting. I'm against laminate flooring, I'm against lino, and I'm even, it's got to be said, against carpet tiles. They don't impress me. There was a lot of innovation in the 60s. It wasn't just a good era for drugs and pot. Right, let's just take one country. One, one country in the media the name, Iran. Iran's three major exports are oil, one, carpet, two, flip-flops, three. Now you might think that's a benign combination, but if you consider, if you put a 50-50 polyblend carpet along a hallway, stick a brass doorknob at the end of it, cut about it in a pair of flip-flops, you're going to get sparks. You treat that carpet with some light fraction crude oil, you get a bomb. EXPLOSIONS is what you'll get. Burning in our fucking beds. This blog is not for me, it's for you. I'm here to enlighten and enrich your experience of carpets through the web. I also write a column, um, write many columns for um, What Carpet Magazine. Make some videos, make some, take some pictures for them. It's a good job. I'm happy with it. Um, and what I'm suggesting is that, that um, you, you keep, your, uh, keep your eyes and your ears peeled for, for more blogs. Because it's going to get interesting. Because I'm not just talking about carpets here. I'm talking about the world of carpets. And I think you've already gathered just a glimpse of what that is and how exciting that could be.